have. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare for landing. Fasten your seatbelts. Thank you for flying Air Force Airlines. Over me. Call me the captain. Just play. They say family that plays together stays together. And one that walks apart just falls apart. So together we stand, divided we fall. United we form a boat and take on Because it's time! It's time! It's hand and foot time! Hello everyone, this is uh, Jeffrey Worry. Or as the uh, gaming community knows me as, Jeff Hunter. I'm here today to explain a little game to you called Hand and Foot. This is a video recording of the gameplay involved in it, so uh, I'll go over everything else in detail at the end of the video. I'm just going to start by showing you some gameplay at the start. So here is the game I'm going into. Now, Hand Foot is a basic game where you have every card. Basically, if you wanted to play it in like a real life setting, you need like seven decks of cards in order to play it. So it's a lot easier to play it online. So in this example, what we have here is a game called Crazy 8. There's tons and tons of different variations of the game, okay? In this game, you need a book of eights in order to win. And the book can be wild or not. Now, what am I talking about exactly? Well, the point of the game is this. You want to make things called books. How do you make these books? See, see how I have three aces here right now, okay? I can make a book out of those three aces, okay? If I made it just out of three aces, then that would be a black book, okay? Now, say, for example, I have, like, these two nines, for example. I could make a red book by using a wild card. A wild card is either a joker or a two. Okay, so here I'll show you an example of each. So, uh, if I have three aces, the three aces can be any suit at all. They, don't have, they can be red or black. They can be any suit at all. It doesn't matter. And basically what you get out of it is you just push this button, create book. And so you have a book of black aces, okay? Now, say I wanted to make a book of like red eights okay good so i would just take two of one kind of the number and a joker i cannot make a book from two jokers and one of one suit okay and then okay, what are you doing basically you want to just try to make as many books as you can until you go out you have two sets of hands you start off with 13 cards that is called your hand. When you get rid of all these 13 cards, that is called your foot. Okay, as you can see here, I have another three fours, so I just will make three fours, just like that. The only thing you cannot make a book out of is threes. Threes are the only thing you do not want to have, okay? If you have threes, you want to get rid of them, okay? Because you cannot make a book out of threes. They're basically just like the worst card you can have, okay? So you don't want to have a book of threes. That's for sure. So here I go again. I can make a black book of nines because I have three nines. As you can see, they can be the same suit. They can be different suits. They can be red suits. They can be black suits. It doesn't matter. You make up a book of black cards, okay? Now, the key is when you have... And the key is, I'll show you once I get it. But let's say here, I have this ace here, okay? I can now add this to this book of, to this book of aces that I've already made up. Okay, the book will be completed once you have seven of one suit. Now, if you have a black book, okay, you can make it red by adding a wild card to it. You cannot, however, change a red book to a black book by adding just regular cards to it. There's only one transformation point during this entire process. Okay, now in this variation of the game, as I've already explained, there's a whole bunch of different variations. But in this variation of the game, as you see now, I can have these two tens three tens and we'll make a book like that. In this variation of the game what you're trying to do is called crazy eights and basically in the crazy eights the only point is you have to have a book of eights completed okay so what that means so what does completed mean? Completed means you have seven cards of one of one book that is called a complete book for example now 
I could add these jokers to any set of books I want, but because I want to complete a book of eights, I'd add it to the eights. Okay, so right here we just do, and of course now she says I'm being too slow, but I haven't told them I'm being recorded, so that's a little too bad. Anyway, so I just add them all to this. So of course, once I run out of cards, I'm into my foot now, and because I'm into my foot, okay, now I get 13, I get 11 more cards at this moment. Now. The object of, the, of this particular game is to just com get a complete book eight and get out. Okay, that's what you want to do. As there, my partner goes. All right, now up oh, you two. There we go. So we'll just add our aces. We'll add our eights, and we'll be out of our eights. And now, because you have a whole book eight done, your whole goal now is just the guy to get as rid of. As rid of as many cards as you possibly can. Because that is the only point of the game, is to get rid of all those eights. Okay? So in this position, I could have made a book of queens, right? But in, in my particular case, I may want to save some cards. So in case I maybe draw a queen, I can then use that for other things. But now my whole point of the game is to get out as soon as I possibly can. As my partner, apparent, as she apparently, look at it. See, look at that. Now I can get rid of that right there three queens a seven a ten and i'll go there and we'll see if she can get out now it could it all it's all a crapshoot really right now we'll see what happens she did not get out i got a break i now get rid of this jack four Ugh, oh, and I got rid of the jack, and getting rid of the jack was a mistake. That's too bad. Oh well, I can't do anything about it right now. She's probably waiting for a, a red card or something like that in order for her to make a book so that she can get out. Uh, look at that, I got a three. Not very good. I'm trying to get any one of these three cards to possibly make a book with, or an ace or a four will give me a complete... Uh, she got her book, and now she's going to be out, probably. Yep, that just told me right there. There it is. Oh boy, you know, once still there it is. You see a loss, ladies and gentlemen. Very upsetting. <laughs> but, you know, that's... Now, of course, this is just one variation of many different variations of games, okay? Now, you might be asking yourself, well, how the ha well, 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 how do I get on to this, okay? Maybe, maybe you're interested, maybe you're not, who knows, okay? Doesn't matter if you're interested or not. The point is, now, I lost... As you can see, this is how they report this person's the winner, this person's the loser, so I must now report my loss. Now, this is the website you have to go to. RankMonster.com. Okay, that is the website you're going to if you want to sign up for any one of these tournaments. Okay, I better refresh the page here, because now I have to report that I lost. Because only the person who loses reports that they lose, because, you know. And why is this a single elimination? You know what? Uh, that isn't good. Well, I'm out of the tournament now. Now, of course, there's a whole bunch of different variations, so I can now basically show you how to uh, get on here. Close this. Close this. All right. So, the website is rankmonster.com. This is where you have to go if you want to go up to any tournaments. Now, this software itself is at a different website, okay? So... There's two things you have to worry about. You've got to go to Tams11.com. Tams11.com is basically a gaming community. Now, the good thing about this is that you get like a 30-day free trial with it. So you can just, all you have to do is you go into like, you download, push this link to download the lobby. Okay. You go down here. You go to download the lobby, you go download the lobby, okay, this is the instructions on how to be able to set up the lobby. You can find this all at tams11.com, okay. You click here, you do all this stuff, blah, 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 this, you'll read this by yourself if you ever go to here, okay. And the good thing about this is you get a 30-day free trial to try it out, because it'll not just hand and foot of this site, there's dozens and dozens of different games you can play, if you ever get bored with stuff. And then... From there, okay, what you would do, so, when you log on for the first time, here, I'm going to disconnect and show you, but here, when you log on for the first time, you would uh, connect here, 
What you would do, of course, is create a new username. Okay, this is my username, my password. You'd fill out all this information. All I want you to do is fill out a username, fill, make a password up. That's basically all you have to do, and you'd log in. And that's what I would do right here. Now, if you're a new player, okay, instead of like one of these crazy hats beside you, you'll just have like a picture of a face with some hair. If you're past your 30 day trial, you will lose all your hair and become a baldy. Okay? These are all the different games. The tournaments, announcements, no one actually usually uses that anymore, so that's very upsetting. There's logs, and then there's games. Now, hand and foot. You can play regular hand and foot to practice. If you just go to card games under hand and foot, you'll usually find a few people, as there are right now. But if you want to play a tournament style game, you'd go to. You go to RM Letters. Okay, there's not, there's not really, that, there's nothing anymore in my ladder games. Arm ladder. You click the hand and foot ladder. You click, double click into it. You are now into the lobby. Okay. Now, let's say you want to sign up for yourself. How would you go about doing that? Well, if I, we go to RankMonster.com, RankMonster.com. So I will sign out now, just to prove it. Now, if I want to, let let's just say I want to uh, come here and. Uh, Sign in, okay. If I want a new account, how would I go about doing that? Well, this thing is completely daft. Here we go. So you go to sign. You go click the sign in link. You register a new account. So find your letter. Our letter is of course Tams Eleven. Okay. Then you go to the hand and foot link. Okay. The hand and foot link. You have all this other stuff. Blah 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 blah. You want to say you want to join this letter. So. Enter your ladder nickname. So whatever you picked at Tams 11, as your like literal sort of a thing, that would be going there. You just put in a valid email address, security question. They give you a few choices here. Answer. Type in this verification code. Blah blah blah. You register a new account. From that point, you'd be logged on. Once you log on, okay. You can then go to the ladder, okay? You go to Tams 11 again. You go to hand and foot. You go into here, and you basically. And this link wouldn't say reported match, it would say join this ladder. So you join the ladder, right? What do you do? All down here, okay, these are your upcoming tournaments. All the way along here, okay? There's so many different variations. There's like four or five pages that like go on for like so long and so in depth of text it's just crazy okay what you have to do but anyways there's so many different variations of tournaments you play as all usual what's going to happen is you're going to be able to basically explain the rules but you know what just for kicks i'm going to show you right now how we go about doing this so what i can do now is i will host a private game and I will play against the computer, just to show you the basic, once again, just to go over the basic in and outs. Now, at the start, you have all these options, okay, you can now, a full game is to 10,000 points, you can, of course, play 5,000, 3,000, one round, you just play one round. Two-player game, you click that if you just want to play against one person, if you want to play against three people, you unclick that, or two people. Pick up discard. Basically, I'll, I'll explain this later. We'll play with a pickup discard for now. Okay, you're playing against the bot. So, always you want to draw your cards. Now, if you right click here, your cards will be organized in numerical order. Okay, as we've gone over before, I can now put anything that I have three of or more as a black book, and I can put anything I have two of with a deuce or a joker to make a red book. Okay, completion of these takes seven cards in these. If you complete a black book, that's 500 points. If you complete a, wa a red book, that's 300 points. Okay, and it's worth less because you can make these easier. And because the stuff you can add to them are worth more points. For example, if I, add, if I had like anything from four to nine, that's only worth 10 points if I add, add it up to a black book. But if I add something to a red book, that's worth 20 points. And if I had a joker or two, that's worth 50 points. So now I can't do anything anymore. You want to get rid of your threes. So you get rid of all the threes. The bot will go. He can't go. Now, if you're in a take discard mode, 
you'll get these you have if you have discards check you have these two options take your discard or draw two cards in this situation because the queen is going to help me i'm going to take the discard okay if it was if discards were not checked in the game then you wouldn't be able to pick up after that point and so now what i do is i will just dump it off right here and he gives me another queen so i'm clearly going to take it now of course this is just a regular game and the only object of this game is to get out okay he has two more. I will now draw two cards. I can't play. He goes. I have draw again. I can't go. He goes. I now finally get another queen, which doesn't help me much, but he goes. And it's just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Hopefully I can. There it is. I finally got my two or my jack that I wanted, so now I can make a new book. I have to give him the eight. I now draw two more cards. There it is. Now, of course, near the end, you want to keep similar cards because, of course, there's a greater likelihood that you could possibly get. But, you know, because he keeps giving me these nice discards, I'm going to just take a chance. Draw two. Because usually this will happen. You won't get any good cards at all. And so you want to just try to get out as quickly as possible. There it is. Two eights. Oh no, he got out. Well, that's not good. That's not good news at all. Because now I need some help. I need some help. And we got the help we needed. Look at that. We got a wonderful deal here. Now this is what's called floating. Okay, floating is when you can go directly from your hand, which is the first 11 cards you receive, to your foot, which is the last 11 cards you receive. So look at that. Your turn doesn't stop when you put the ace down. Okay, you can now, of course, just keep on going. And look at this. We have a very lovely hand here. Well, in fact, it is so good of a hand. See, look at that. You just make red books. Another red book. This. And that. It's just that simple. Now, of course, it doesn't usually happen like that because I usually lose to the bots. But you know what? That's basically what it is, okay? In uh, the next videos of our series, we'll go into different variations of the game and ways that we can, you know, and strategies that I use that don't always work because this is mostly a luck-based game, but, you know, there is a little bit of strategy involved in the game. And if you want to do that and you want to see some strategies, then come on back for the next video. You know what? Thank you very much, and you have yourself a fine day.